All right. Good morning, Alter Realty Group agents. This is Kevin Lauren. I'm the Director of Training and Marketing. And today we're going to be talking about reviews. So reviews are uh, really important in real estate marketing. A lot of people look for realtor reviews before they actually get um, into a contract or even deal with a realtor, uh, especially when you're just you know getting referred. So reviews are, I would say, tantamount and importance. So Bill, what do you think about today's uh, what, today's webinar topic? First of all, um, well, good morning, Kevin. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Bill. How are we doing today? Doing fantastic. Had your coffee? I've got it right here. <laughs> there you go. You're prepared. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Today's um, topic is so important. Uh, I think we're gonna have a really. Uh, this is probably gonna be one of the most important webinars, maybe of the of the first half of the year yeah. and I think we're going to dive deep into why we need to put this as a top priority as part of our part of our closings as part of our um, you know experiences with our clients and uh, we're going to get into that shortly but I would like to just give everyone a quick update from our from my department here at Clearview Mortgage if Kev you could bring up the uh, just the, the 10-year treasury I was oh, just yeah. taking Taking a peek at that this morning, and um, let's absolutely do that. I don't have that queued up, but let me grab it. I've got it. Well, it, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know you have. I know you have it earmarked, but um, you know, rates have been very um, nice to us in the last week, week and couple days. Here, we had, we had two price adjustments downward yesterday. Um, it's always good to see your the email uh, come in and and say pricing has improved. Yeah, got a couple of those yesterday, and we also have some incentives uh, from United Wholesale on purchases um, in the next, if we can, you know, if we lock those loans the next uh, week or so, uh, they're adding some additional incentives for purchase business. So um, a lot of good stuff going on there. I also wanted to, uh, you can just see real quick there, Kev, uh, you know, if you look at that high spike. Yeah. Uh, the 10 year treasury was at about 1.74, I believe about a week ago or so. Yeah. And now we're at 1.63. So we've dropped over, uh, you know, a little over 10 basis points on the 10 year treasury, which has translated into uh, uh, rates improving. So that's, that's good news there. Yeah. Additionally, uh, we, we do our, our Friday Clearview mortgage meeting for that side of the company. We do those on Friday mornings. And we had a gentleman come over from fundloans.com. It's a San Diego based, you know, niche private banking type outfit. And they have some really good uh, products for self-employed borrowers, business owners, um, anybody that can't really, uh, you know, take their file to a, you know, through the conventional, you know, <laughs> method. So if you guys have any self-employed borrowers, business owners, people that uh, maybe are running, you know, a lot of money through their accounts, but maybe they don't show a lot on their tax returns, it's just not going to fit through a traditional Fannie or Freddie product, uh, give us a call. I think uh, this new partnership with Fund Loans, I think there's going to be a, a place for them. And everybody at our team was uh, basically um, got the overview last week. So it's nice to have another option for non-traditional, you know, non-traditional uh, outs. Sorry, here, guys. No problem, buddy. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think we might be able to entice him to come on our webinar uh, in the next couple of weeks, perhaps. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he would. And I think uh, uh, Jackson from the previous week is, is also going to be a good um a good person to come on uh, you know basically at this point we have enough investors that we can really find a home for almost everything now and we have you know our sweet spot is you know running things with united wholesale and i want to give everybody uh, i got an email this morning from our rep at united wholesale and i want if you could pull that up kevin yeah let me show uh, that. i want to show everyone what kind of uh speed we're talking about and in this business, especially in today's market, you've got to have a team that can move fast and that can get the job done. And so I got this email this morning. The, the 
the subject line is nice work on these. So if you scroll down, Kevin. Sure. Here or a little bit further. Uh, yeah, keep going down. Okay, so start there. So here, here's Tyna. She got a one day approval. Okay, scroll down. Okay. Keep going. There's, there's Cameron. Three days cleared to close. That's, that's from submission <laughs> to closing. <laughs> Unbelievable, Bill. <laughs> Three days. Okay. Uh, it looks like who's the, who's below him. There's another one. 15 days 15 cleared days. to close. Debbie, 20 days cleared to close. Another one for Tina, same day approval. There's your, there's yours truly eight days cleared to close. So this is really important because, you know, as a buyer's agent, or even, even taking the listing, you want to make sure the financing is intact. You want to make sure you have a team that knows what the hell they're doing. The average time period for a, for a closed loan in the market right now is 58 days. Yeah. So there's real value in, 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 you know, working with our team because we can get this stuff done and make you look good. And also we can reduce those time periods on those contingency time periods. So if you want to write an offer with a five day loan contingency, we can do that for you. You know, and in this market, that is, as all of us know, so imperative. I'm not seeing any loan approvals taking more than two days with United Wholesale. Unreal. So you want to write an aggressive offer, you want to write an aggressive and still protect your client with the financing. You really need to use our team here because these guys are, these guys are experts at it. They know what they're doing. They know how to submit a clean, a, a clean submission and they know how to get these approvals out lickety split. Now it's so important, Bill. So yeah, guys, if you're not working with Clearview, definitely reach out to Bill and the team and we'll get you guys set up with one of our awesome loan officers. And speaking of that, we have uh, Cameron Alley with us today. And he, he's going to talk a little bit about our topic today, which is, of course, reviews. And he's got a really good uh, technique on how to use reviews. And so it'll be great to hear him talk as well. Let me... Yes, Cameron, uh, you're going to un... He is here and I'm going to unmute him. All right, you are unbridled, Cameron. <laughs> hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Hope everyone's everybody. doing well. Um, so, so yeah, um, Bill and Kev just asked me to come on here, uh, today and just talk about some testimonials and reviews, um, to talk about kind of the power of having, a, you know, a lot of testimonials and really pushing those with, with your clients, especially, you know, your clients you had a fantastic experience with. Um, so one of the things that is really great about reviews, obviously, and testimonials is those referrals, you know, basically I feel like every, almost every single really good testimonial or, or review that you get, I've noticed, I've usually gotten a referral off of it um, because I purposely drive those people to those pages, um, on, you know, kind of on the initial conversation of saying, hey, you know, look at my reviews, look at my testimonials and look at my, my happy customers. And it, it helps give that instant credibility, especially when you're already doing a great job, you know, um, it's almost a disservice if I'm not trying to get people to, to build my web presence and, uh, you know, leave that good experience so that I can show it to somebody else. Um, because especially in such a competitive market that we're in the real estate market, you know, the loan market, there's so many different options out there and finding a way to separate yourself, um, has, you know, it's worked really well for me and it's brought me free business that I haven't had to work for, you know, which is obviously, the goal that, that everyone wants is, is to have, you know, the doors flying open with people trying to come and do business with you. Um, and one of the ways that I've, that I really built my page was doing follow-up emails, follow-up calls on clients that I closed and saying, Hey, you know, like if they haven't left a review, um, Hey, you know, it, it, it really mean the world to me if you could leave me a quick review. And, uh, you know, they're more than happy to do it usually. And sometimes they're like, Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot, you know, cause they're busy. So, um, I'd say, you know, just really take advantage of the great job that, that we do and try to build that web presence as much as you can. Cause you know, I'd find people would end up Googling my name and then my reviews would come up and people would just call, we would just call me off of like, for example, like a Yelp page and be like, Hey, I saw your reviews. I, I just wanted to, you know, get a quote from you or et cetera, et cetera. So, um, just kind of makes the job easier. And then, and then, you know, for, you know, five, 10 years down the road, have hundreds and hundreds of testimonials where, you know, you, it just really separates you from the crowd. So um, 
but yeah. Yeah, you should all be uh, collecting reviews like it's, you know, the, the, the last thing you'll do. <laughs> mm. it's, it's that important, right, Cameron? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it, it just, it just gives you an instant credibility. That's really the way, and it separates you from the competition. Like, for example, on the loan side here, a lot of places have pretty bad reviews. You know, like if you look at a lot of the big retail lenders, because they have those long term times like Bill talked about. Um, so when I'm, for example, when I'm trying to get a loan closed or, you know, a refire or purchase, I'm not just trying to close it. I'm trying to close it as quickly as I possibly can so that I can blow their mind so that they're going to send me business, you know? Um, so it, it's, it, yeah, of course I want to close that deal, but I also want to close it as quickly as possible because I've noticed that that is the one thing that drives business our way, um, is just efficiency. Oh, Absolutely. Any comment on that, Bill? I, well, I'm just, you know, we had our meeting last Friday and, you know, and, and Cameron had brought up, you know, his kind of wish list for how we structure, you know, Clearview and how he's able to, you know, funnel, you know, his clientele through reviews. And, and, um, and I'd like just to pull up the website real quick, Kevin, because I want to, I want just everyone just to, I just want to read a couple of these reviews sure. um, and just to showcase kind of what we're doing here on the Clearview side, but it translates to the real estate. It doesn't matter if you're an agent in on real estate or you're a loan officer, it's the same, you know, it's the same thing. It's the same, you're shooting for the same goal that the, the, you know, a published review of your, um, your job performance, you know, online that someone can, you know, verify and check out. Right. And, and so, I mean, if you just read these, you know, this was our first time working with and had a great experience with Cameron Alley. He was on top of everything. And he explained everything thoroughly and was also in touch throughout the whole process. And our loan was closed within two weeks. I will refer him to my family and friends. I worked with Cameron Alley and he was simply amazing, highly proficient and friendly. The process was fast and efficient. Thanks to Cameron. I have zero complaints. I've already sent out several referrals to family and friends. So, I mean, the, we, he, he's got, I mean, endless reviews and you can see how powerful that is. I mean, you know, <laughs> I'm ready to have, I'm ready to have Cameron do my, my loan. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the point is, is Cameron gets it. He understands the power of this. He's been proactive. He's not sitting on his hands after a transaction. He's going out and asking for the review and asking for the referral through the review and he's getting it. And it's just so important. Oh yeah. So that is a great segue into, you know, the meat of our, our presentation today, because, you know, it's just, it's not uh, our client's job to remember to give us a review. It is our job to ask for it. And it's the same thing with the referral too. It's not our job. You know, it's not your client's job to remember to refer you. You've got to ask for that refer that referral and you've got to be proactive about it. So one thing that I uh, have the, 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 Kind of the theory I've developed is when you're asking for a review from a client, you should call it a, you should call it feedback. You would like to get some feedback. And so I think that's a, a very uh, benign and maybe less aggressive way to say, I want a review from you. But if you're asking for feedback, you're, it's a little more genuine. It's a little bit more like, you know, I really want to make sure that I had, I did, I did a really good job, you know, on your file. So if there's anything that I can do to, you know, improve my services, I'd love to know. And for a guy like Cameron, they're gonna be like, are you kidding me? You just, you crushed it. It was amazing. You know, so you're asking for feedback, but you're going to get a review and a testimonial. And so I say uh, the, the feedback is what you're sending out. I'm asking for feedback. You're, it's coming back as a testimonial or a review. And that's what we use in our market. So that's a, a really good point I wanted to make because, um, you know, some agents are, are, afraid to ask. They're afraid to ask for the review. And so if you're posing it like this, it is a more genuine way to ask for that review. Wouldn't you say, Bill? 100%. I do like the way it's posed. I think, um, you know, it's, it, it isn't as a, you know, you know, it's a softer way to ask for it. Exactly. And then of course we use that in a variety of different things. So where should reviews be found? Where should they appear? They should be on your website, on your agent website. They should be on social media profiles as well as third-party review websites like Yelp and Google. So the most important ones would be, I would say, 
Uh, Google and Yelp would on, honestly be the very much, very mo most important one. And third being Facebook, because let me do a little, I'll just do a new screen share here and show you guys what it looks like when somebody Googles your name, because that's exactly what happens, right? People go, oh, um, I got a referral for this guy, Charles Barnes, went a park. I don't know who the heck he is. So they Google your name and you'll notice that what comes up? Reviews. This is Google. There are stars. You know, he's got one review. I'd like to see Charles get more. Um, but there are five stars. You can see those golden five stars sticking out like a like a like a sore thumb, right? So what I, I always encourage people to do is to build as many reviews on these third-party websites as well, um, because it it kind of insulates you. So unfortunately, what happens is you know, occasionally we come across some uh, very difficult customer and Lord knows we can't, you know, please everybody. We tried, but it could happen. You could do your very best and you could, you know, still have somebody have a bad experience or think they had a bad experience and they could go right out and leave you a, ba a bad review. And if that happens and you only have one review, say Charles, somehow some guy comes out of the woodwork and gives him a one star review. Well, that's going to split your stars right in half, isn't it? So you're going to have two reviews, one five, one one. So you're going to end up with about a 2.5, you know, star uh, deal. So the more reviews you're asking for, and the more times you're sending people to these review websites, the way better off you are because you're forming a little bit of insulation between you and that horrible customer that may come down the line. And we know they do come down the line. So we want to be prepared for that. We don't want to be you know, caught and, and, and go, oh, shoot, I, I don't really have any reviews online. So it's really important for us to do that. So what you need to do is, of course, create your Google profile. I think Google is one of the, the absolute most important because everybody uses Google. And this huge thing shows up next to your name if you have registered with Google My Business. So again, you just literally go to googlemybusiness.com, click on the link, and go through the steps, you know, sign up, manage it, and fill out the little <laughs> form. If you're unsure about how to do that and you're on program two, three, or four, of course, you can schedule an appointment with me. I'll walk you through it. But it's really important to get that step done. And I've been working one-on-one -on -one with a lot of the agents in making sure that that happens. So that's really important, step one. And then step two, of course, is to make sure that you are sending people to Facebook and even Yelp. So Yelp people, Yelp realtors, and, and they Yelp, you know, loan officers, as in Cameron's uh, case, all the time. So we got to be prepared for that. So Facebook is the same way. Here is one of our favorite agents in the Bay Area, Marissa Embrys. She does a great job with social media and an online presence. And so same thing here, reviews, five out of five, you know, so she's got these great reviews. You know what, this one's in Spanish. That's awesome. She's bilingual. She has uh, Spanish speaking customers. So the importance of being able to refer people to these sites even uh, is really, really paramount. So I want to see everybody doing this. Um, Charles is also saying, can we copy our Zillow reviews? Absolutely. Zillow reviews are great. And what's a really good idea? Um, or, oh, oh. I'm sorry, Charles, you asked if we can copy our Zillow reviews to Google My Business. No, that's the one thing is you have to have somebody go on your site and click on reviews and ask for a review. So, you know, this is one. I'm an original Lakeside owner, been a neighbor and a friend of the community for more than 20 years. I enjoy fishing. You know, this is, <laughs> this is good stuff, right? So, Charles, you do have to have somebody. You have to send them to your Google profile and have them leave a review. But that's a really good, uh, you know, follow up technique. So once you've closed the, uh, the deal, everything's great. They had a great experience. Then you go out and uh, via email is really the easiest way to do it. And literally provide them a link to your website. Provide them a link to your Facebook page to leave a review. Provide them a link to Google. Some people prefer leaving, you know, reviews on certain sites. Some people are Yelpers. They love Yelp. They're going to, you know, want to uh, put it on their Yelp site. Some people will just go to Google because it's super easy. And just about everybody has a, you know, a Gmail or a Google account where they can, you know, leave a review. 
So those two are, are, are I'm sorry, those three are definitely the biggest. Um, there are definitely a bunch of other third party review sites and you know, the more the better. Uh, there's Nextdoor, which is a good you know, uh, community site. Glassdoor, indeed. There's, you know, there's, there's quite a bit, and Zillow should be on here too. Let me just add Zillow because that's so important. And any other spot where people can see reviews online. So, go ahead. Uh, I had a question, Kevin. Yes. Uh, so, since there's so many places to actually, uh, you know, retrieve and archive these reviews, um, you know, do you think it's better to just focus on like two or three? And if that's the case, when you send out your feedback, your, your link to your, to your customers, whether it's a seller or um, you know, someone who's done a transaction with you, are you just maybe rotating them so you can build up reviews on each, um, you know, each basically pillar of, you know, whether it's Google or it's uh, Yelp or whatever? Yeah, no, that's exactly, uh, I was definitely gonna go, on, go to that point next. Um, you definitely want to control where you're sending these people because you may, you know, have six or seven reviews on Google and maybe only two on Facebook. So you want to like, you know, go, okay, I'm doing pretty good on Google. Now let me focus on Facebook and then next, maybe let's focus on, on Yelp. And for some of your clients that, you know, are your, you know, we call it your, uh, uh, you know, your greatest fans or your, your fan club, you know, people that just love you. They could be family members you know, ask them point blank, hey, you know what, it really helps me if you guys can, you know, leave a review on Yelp, Google, and Facebook. Could you do that for me? You're my buddy, you know, they'll, you know, nine times out of time, they'll say, yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, great point, Bill. We want to be, you know, revolving those around and sending them to as many as we can. Um, but you do have to pick, you know, kind of which ones that you're deficient in to make sure that you're building that insulation. Because you don't want, you know, uh, on Google, you have five stars, and then on Facebook, you have two, right? So you want to really make sure that you're managing this. This is something that needs to be managed. So super, super important. Another little technique, you know, for those raving fan kind of uh, clients is you can ask them to do a quick video testimonial, you know? And I mean, you know, 10 seconds, right? Got your, your iPhone out, you know, hey, John Smith, how was your experience with, with, uh, with me? Oh, blah, blah, blah. They give you a 10, 15 second little clip. Great to use in social media. Great to put on your website. And that gives a real good personalization. So it's not just some written thing. It's like an actual person. And so that has a lot of weight. So if you can ever, you know, remember to do that. And if you can, you know, uh, ask for your clients for a video testimonial, that's about a hundred times better than a regular testimonial. So super, super important. Um, so the, uh, research shows that 90% of buyers use their real estate agent again in the future and refer them to others. Um, but it is our job to stay in touch with those people, ask for the referrals on a regular basis, and to you know make sure. <coughs> so with enough reviews, agents you know get an overall rating. You know. And so that's what we're looking for. We're looking to get that overall rating on a variety of different review sites. That way, you know, we're totally insulated. We can't really be, you know, hurt by that one or two, you know, sour apple that comes through. So super, super important. Um, another thing is just make sure you claim all of your stuff, you know, so claim your, uh, your account on Zillow, on you know, Redfin, anything where you can claim your account and take control of, of an account, absolutely do that. Uh, Yelp is, is absolutely one of those things. Um, so I want to see everybody, you know, going and taking steps to extend, and, you know, here, again, Google, Facebook, Yelp, Zillow, Redfin, really important to claim those accounts and make sure that we're building our reviews on each and every one of those. So it's just an, a very important part of our marketing. So another thing to do is when you're sending people to these third-party review sites, it's very, very important to copy those reviews from those sites and put them on your website. So you guys will notice on, you know, we showed you the, all these testimonials on our Clearview Mortgage site. 
Well, those were on third party sites and we just copied them and put them on our website. So then you have reviews in a lot of different places and you're able to, you know, uh, make sure that people are able to, um, you know, see how good you are. You know, it's not your, it's not up to them to know how good you are. They're not going to know, um, especially when you're getting a referral or, you know, you're being referred, you have to be able to prove that you're pretty good. So Cameron really touched on that. And, you know, he had a really good point uh, with, with making sure that, you know, uh, you're able to prove to other people that there are, you know, a lot of really good reviews. And so one thing I'll say about, you know, it's important to have your reviews on your website and that's really cool. But having reviews on these third-party web websites uh, lends a little bit more legitimacy, right? Um, and I got a question here from Ann Harris. What do I think about Rate My Agent? Absolutely, Rate My Agent is great. You know, uh, get your, your, uh, your, your account there, build up your reviews there. They're all good. Um, a lot of these third-party review sites have what, what is called a high page rank. So when people Google your name, those tend to, to pop up. And so we always want to control as much of that Google space as we can with information that we kind of control. So yeah, Rate My Agent is a great one. Uh, thank you, Ann, for that. Appreciate it. Um, so, you know, really, we just, we, overall, we have to uh, create that positive outlook of us. We want to make sure that, you know, people understand that we are very client-based, that we take care of our clients. And really the only way to do that is through these online reviews. Um, the other way is, you know, the kind of old school way would be, yeah, uh, you can call these five people, you know, but nobody does that anymore. Everybody looks for the reviews. And I'm, I'm the same way, you know, I do it, everybody does it. And so we can't uh, leave that out of our marketing mix. And I think it's probably one of the most important because as Cameron said, it, it gives us instant credibility by other humans. And so one thing that, you know, human nature is, you know, if other people are doing something, we say, oh, okay, okay, that's great. I, I see that somebody else had a great experience. That means I probably will have a great experience too. So I mean, literally it's as simple as that. So uh, any questions there in the chat? Um, Kevin, I wanna, um... Also, I, there was one other really important uh, point that Cameron had made, and I think Cameron's still on, um, is how he uses the testimonial to potentially sell someone who's considering him or maybe considering uh, the, the lender down the street or one of these big retail lenders. And I think this applies, I'll let him explain it, but uh, I think this applies to you as a realtor too, because a lot of times when we're trying to take the listing, and, you know, we're, we're going on a listing appointment and maybe the, you know, the seller is going to interview two or three other realtors to take the listing. They're going to, you know, interview and see who they feel is going to be able to do the best job. Um, they're going to, they're going to look at those reviews. And so Cameron, just, if you're still there, uh, go through how you've been able to utilize your reviews in order to get the business. Yeah. So, uh, basically like, um, on the loan side, obviously it's very competitive. There's so many different options out there that it's, it's tough to separate yourself. So what I'd always do is literally if right when I send someone a quote, I would copy my Yelp page link, every single quote. So, that, and I'd be like, Hey, you know, check out my testimonials, my reviews. Um, and that, like I said, would give me instant credibility It'd kind of separate me from the crowd. And a lot of times, you know, people would, would come to me, even if it was, you know, cost another two thousand dollars in cost compared to what like let's say another lender was offering even though on the closing table it might change anyway but that's another topic but um and it would win me deals without even really looking at the pricing you know so so you know with reviews people obviously you know people want to deal with good people in business they want to trust people so i would use that to to build trust and uh you know it, it made my job a lot easier um and I think that it would make everyone's job a lot easier if, if, if you do the same thing, you know? So um, they're just really powerful. Yeah, that's, really a, that's such a critical point. And so as we correspond, do our correspondence with buyers and sellers, having your review, maybe, you know, having your review link 
above your signature line, um, maybe as part of the body of your correspondence or at the end, you say, hey, you know, please take a look at my reviews, you know, you know, as I'm, you know, blah, blah, blah. They're going to look at that. And, and as Cameron said, you are going to get probably top of the list consideration to do that listing, uh, represent that buyer, get the loan, whatever it is. It's really powerful. Yeah, no, that, that's a huge point, Bill, because, um, you know, just like Cameron said, I mean, this is this is the kind of thing that will win clients over. You know, so having I really like the idea of having, you know, a link to your reviews and your signature line in your email. So it's always there, you know, and you're not afraid to show people, you know, some people, if you have bad reviews, you're afraid to send people to those sites. You don't want to send them to those sites. It's going to take business away. So that's how important this is. And Charles uh, Barnes asks, can we delete bad reviews, not on third party websites? That's why it's so important to, to insulate yourself from that one bad apple. And I know Charles, you're awesome. You know, everybody loves Charles, but and, you know, we can't please everybody. So if that one bad apple comes in, we can't really delete that review. All we can do is respond to the review in an empathetic way and, you know, say, Hey, you know, I'm so sorry that you had a poor, you know, uh, uh, experience with me, love to, you know, do whatever I can do to make it right. You can just do a really nice empathetic uh, reply which people also see, you know, so um, Marissa did a really good job. Let me just show this real quick. So Marissa on her uh, Facebook page does a really good job of when somebody leaves a review, she responds, you know, she responds to the review. Thank you much. Muchisimas gracias. Jaime y María Elba. You know, fue un placer. She's like saying, hey, it was a pleasure to work with you guys, you know, so really, really important to respond to those reviews, right? And some uh, agents even go so far as to, when somebody gives you a review, send them a gift card, you know? Um, I don't really believe in, you know, saying, hey, if you leave me a review, I'll send you a gift card. I don't really like that. Certainly a lot of people do. There's, you know, that's kind of gray area, but I think it's a lot, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I think... <laughs> yeah, a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can do it, but I think it's more genuine to just say, hey, you know, give me some feedback. How'd I do? You know, um, and then, hey, if they do leave you a good review, send them a gift card, send them, you know, flowers. I don't know, whatever that again will lead you to and not only uh, leaving a review, but giving you a referral. So that's the, the, the logical step is we're getting all these reviews because we want referrals. <laughs> you know, it's literally the end game. Right. That is the end game, Kevin. And, and as you know, you and Cameron have mentioned, the best customers, the best clients are the referral clients. Yeah. So why, why aren't we doing everything we can to get those types of deals? Yeah. Hey. So, well said, well said. So guys, we've come to the end of our presentation today. Um, I hope you guys found it really, really insightful. And I really appreciate you guys coming on our webinars every week means a lot to us. I know we're helping you guys build your business and that helps us build our business. So we're all in it together and it all, yeah. helps, right. And, and Kev too, if, if anybody uh, needs to reach out to Cameron for any of uh, their needs, um, you please, you can always reference our uh, Clearview mortgage website. Uh, you can find Cameron's information there. Um, he's going to be joining us uh, from time to time on these webinars, giving us mortgage updates in the future. So um, he's such a good integral part of what we're building here as a, as a company. And um, so if you just ever, you know, not sure where to find him, uh, you can get his phone number um, off our website at any time. Right here. All right, great guys. And next week, we're going to take the week off. I'm actually going to be on a horseback ride. So on Wednesday of next week, I will be mounted on a horse, riding, a, riding the range. <laughs> so <laughs> I won't be able to, uh, to join you guys, but I'm looking forward to the following week. And I think the following week, we, we will have uh, a couple of the, uh, the loan guys come on and uh, take a look at some of those new loan programs that we just referenced today. Awesome. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Cameron, for coming on this morning. Such a, um, such a nice uh, treat for us to have uh, you give you give your input and how this has been um, a big part of your business. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. Excellent, Cameron. Thanks so much again. And guys, get out there, make it a great week and a productive week. And we'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye bye.